So can we blame some of these celebrities for dating outside the race? Because everybody, I don't say everybody, most people want to make someone. So going back to what I said, the ingredients for deciding if you're going to get married, respect, common goals, compatibility, um, was love, small piece, and then being physically attracted to that person. And that's optional. You know, that's very optional. You know, <clears throat> me, I told you how I feel about being physically attracted to you. What I have to be able to do, even when I'm mad. <laughs> when you get mad. Because you, you will get mad in a marriage or a relationship. Well, you have to have. Me. Just me. I ain't talking about everybody else. I'm talking about me. I have to not be able to say. When I'm mad at you, or even think it, I probably won't say it, but think. With your ugly self. With your ugly self. <laughs> I don't say self, but you know what I'm saying. Right. I can't think that. And when I, and in my position, I have to be able to look at you from the side. Yeah, she's into these side profiles. Your side profile. <laughs> I love your side profile. I tell him that all the time. But you also like Michael Eaton. I do. <laughs> Michael Ely. Ely, yeah, Michael Ely. <laughs> man, y'all check out this side profile. We was watching a movie one time. And she crazy about Michael Ely, man. And we was watching a movie one time. What movie was that? Barbershop? Yeah. Yeah, the, the, no, the second one. The one where he was hiding under the bed. Um, oh, I can't think. Kevin think. Hart. He was, he was like a crazy dude. Stalking, yeah, yeah. Stalk, stalking uh, Sinai Lathan. I thought it was two movies we saw then. Oh. He was at a food truck in one of the movies. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was two movies. <laughs> <laughs> and I know she into side profiles. Man, this dude, man, this dude had a messed up side profile. Man. I'm serious, man. I ain't going to say what it looked like. You, you determine that. But uh, anyway. Really? Anyway. But that's a, that's optional. I, I think that should be optional. That mm -hmm. shouldn't be just my take. On the top of the list. That shouldn't be the main ingredient. When you're putting together the ingredients to make a marriage or decide to get married to someone, that should not be the main ingredient. Uh, so, um, so I guess celebrities have an out, if we want to call it that. But what, what about just regular Joe? Why is he doing it? Just a regular guy. Now, that's where I'm stuck. <clears throat> now... We've heard. Or a female. Just a regular female, regular guy. A lot of times they're bitter. That's what I was going to say. Right. They're that's, bitter. That's the reason we've heard behind the regular Joe. Yeah, they're bitter. They uh, Females, they've been treated poorly by black men. Males have been treated poorly by, 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 uh, by black women. A lot of times. That's what I hear. Uh, I'm going to tell you this. With white women, I can only speak from my experience when I've dated white women. And I, I'm not shy about asking them, you know, when I dated them, why are you attracted to black men? Some would say, just always been attracted to them. Just always. I've had some that say, <clears throat> white men are weak. Uh, I don't feel protected with white men. This is just what I've been told. I don't feel protected with white men. They're weak. They have to be in groups to show power. And that's the reason. So that's, you got that reason from a regular. It's a white woman. Yeah, just a regular white woman. Yeah, it's a white woman. Now, another white woman, well, uh, a couple other white women have told me. <clears throat> and this is the scary thing, you know. They like the skin contrast. Hmm. They like the white and the black when it comes together. Either holding hands or making love. They like the skin contrast. They get off on it on the skin contrast. Hmm. 
You know, I've been told that. Uh, now, I'm going to be transparent with you guys. <laughs> I dated a black, I ain't going to say dated. I had relations with a black woman. And this is when I was young and irresponsible. I was quite young, actually. Come on, so the people in my, can in my, people in my, see your face while you're being transparent. In my early 20s. <laughs> And I met this woman at work, black woman. She was married to a white guy. They had kids. I don't know if they had one or two kids, small kids. She was married to a white guy. I'm a black guy, obviously. We started messing with each other on the side. So that always threw me off. Like, what was that about? Right. Okay. Now, you know this situation. Mm-hmm. I wasn't so young at this time when this happened. I was messing with another woman, a black woman, who was in a relationship. Now, I was single both these times, but they was in a relationship. So now we know that's another topic, black women cheat. So that's another topic. But, <laughs> but, <laughs> but she was married to a white guy. Dude had money. She, they had money. Had been married, man, maybe twenty some years. Uh, he was uh, the CEO of a small oil company. He ended up having a motorcycle accident that had, I mean, some some heavy brain damage to where he had the mentality of a, a third grader. This dude went from being a CEO of a small oil company, making millions. To now in a home, a rehabilitation center, and he has the the mentality of a third grader. I mean, it was it was sad hearing her talk to him on the phone like a child, like literally like a child. He was white guy, she was black. She was fairly young, you know, forties. Still had needs. We met, we started dating. I'm a black guy. I was younger than her also. I'm a black guy, younger black guy. What was that about? Mm-hmm. And she had teenage boys, mixed race, of course. She she even introduced me to them. I even went well, to that game. she didn't see color. She just I don't see. know if she didn't see color. Um, I don't know. I don't know. That could have been you being in the in the right place at, at the, the right, right time, time for her because she had she she's she had, vulnerable. Right, she was, was not able to have a conversation. Right, not able to get mentally stimulated. Okay, so we're gonna give Sexually, her a pass. Yeah, we're gonna so give her a pass. That she just needed some things. Okay, we're gonna give her a pass. We're gonna give her a pass, and actually, she was pretty cool. So we'll give her a pass because that, that's kind of that's kind of you know it's a lot going on there. So, when you get married, is it just about how you feel? Or should you think about your people politically, socially, and what effect it has on your people, on your community? Or should you just say, it's about how I feel, my feelings? At this point in life, where I am now, we should consider the community. Our struggle, and where we, impact. where we've come from, and the, the influence impact, you can have, teaming together, right? So, right. right, and I think that's where a lot of people mess up. They get married for love, and they don't think about socially and politically, and respect being number one, compatibility, common goals. Those should take the forefront when deciding to get married. Mm-hmm. Uh, shouldn't be about so much about love. Or looks, because that stuff comes and goes. You can love someone today and hate them the next day. Mm-hmm. It's so up and down. Love is a mystery, and love is unstable. It's unstable. But you bring a good point when you say having common goals, because I, I just think back to when we went to the peaceful rally mm-hmm. um, downtown. You couldn't do that if you were in. 
Or they they would probably feel uncomfortable. Well, they would. And they wouldn't. You'd have to explain why you ha- why we're going. Well, and and then there may be a conflict. If you're with a white guy, mm-hmm. he may be leaning towards support of the white cops. There you go. Yeah. So that's that's so important. Yeah. So. And. Listen, I don't have a huge problem. I especially don't have a huge problem with with with, with blacks getting with Latins. I, I really don't. And I don't have a, a big problem with blacks with whites. But my only issue is we can't afford to procreate with other races when we're not at the table as equal partners. Mm-hmm. Right? As a race, we're in the red. We're in the red. We're in the negative. As far as social impact, social empowerment, political empowerment and impact on the community, on this nation, we're in the negative. So we got to get our stuff straight before we start going over here and messing with other people. Let's get our stuff straight. Mm -hmm. Right? We got to get our stuff straight. And so, prime example... I I saw I saw uh, Barack Obama's daughter all hugged up kissing on some white guy. Barack Obama's the 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 oldest one, I guess. Mm-hmm. Mal- Mal- Malay- Malaya, mm-hmm. okay, yeah, the one in college, right? Man, do you know with her with her stock, right? Her upbringing, her political connections, her social connections. Her education she's going to get. Her wisdom and knowledge she's obtaining through her mom and her dad. Wow. Do you know how powerful she or a union can be if she got what a brother? What a brother that had the same mind state, the same, the same stock, and then they procreate. They create kids. Mm-hmm. That's how you create generational wealth. And when I say wealth, I'm not just talking about money. I'm talking about knowledge and power also. All right? But now, she's probably going to get with a white guy. Probably going to marry a white guy. And that goes back to her surroundings. Even though there were a black family in the White House, how many other black kids was she actually around? Right? Mm -hmm. Her surroundings. Well... I know in our home, if you have been past president of the United States, it wouldn't matter. You would still teach your children, do this for our community, do this for your people. But, but see, that's the thing. And you bring up something, uh, you bring up something so profound. And that's the thing with black, black culture. We don't do that. We give our kids choices. Mm-hmm. Jewish in Italian culture, they say, we need you over here to be a doctor. Right. We need you to be a lawyer. We need you to do this, to be in construction. We need you to be in politics because it's bigger than you. Mm-hmm. It's about the people. We don't do that. We don't do that. Right. You can do, you can do whatever you want. Right. If you've been out there in the struggle and if you, know, you, you got to the top, Right. You're going to open the door for your kids. They just need to walk on in. Right. but The door's been open. But even if Barack did say she needs to, you know, what, I don't know what he said. That's but true. even if he did say that, that goes back to, is that fair? Is that even, does it even make sense? Is that feasible? Mm-hmm. Because are there any other black boys in her community? Mm-hmm. Now, they're in that money, that money bracket too. Right. Right. Now they they moved out of uh, are they they back in Chicago? I'm not sure. Wherever they are, they're in a community where the houses are, are worth millions. Mm-hmm. They're millionaires, and so is it even feasible. Is that is that realistic that she get with a black boy? Are they around? The college she goes to. Yeah, are they around? Mm-hmm. Now I'll tell you what's been impactful. I'm telling you what's impactful. 
yo, she had went to a HBCU. Oh, off the chain. That would have been impactful. Mm -hmm. She would have met a brother there. Mm -hmm. No doubt. Yeah, that would have like, been impactful. I sound like you, no doubt. <laughs> so, do you want to... So, I mean, I, I mean, there's no clear-cut answer. I'm not saying don't date outside your race or marry outside your race. And if you notice the ingredients I included in the marriage... Uh, I didn't say race. Like no. I didn't say compatibility. You did. Mm -hmm. You know, compatibility. And common. Common goals. And that, yeah. So listen, if we don't have the same, if we don't respect each other, one, we ain't got the same common goals. We're not compatible. Those are three main ingredients. We don't even be thinking about marriage. Mm -hmm. Okay? And then comes a little bit of love. Respect over love. Ladies. Choose respect over love. Then comes a little bit of love. If you got a lot of love with a lot of respect, great. Then comes love. And then comes physical attractiveness. That's not that's my opinion. But if we thought of it like that as black people, we would make better decisions and we'd be more socially aware socially conscious, and we'll do more things that help the community. It wasn't just about us, what we want. Right. Yeah. Each of those things that you just listed are like, you know, they help you get from one to two to three to four. Right. You know, it helps you stay in line. Right, right. Now... I believe there are some white people out there that are socially conscious. Uh, they get it. They get it. <clears throat> but, man, I think those are few, far in between. I just, and it's not their fault. Listen, they're the majority. Right. They, they've been reared a certain way. They've been comfortable being the majority. You know, so they don't have to deal with certain things. Mm -hmm. You know, they can't just, they just can't relate certain things they can't so I get it but you know just something to think about you know once again not saying don't date outside your race <laughs> <laughs> but know what you're doing and don't just do it for selfish reasons don't do it because you hate somebody that looks like your mom or somebody that looks like your dad you know because let me tell you you can be treated bad on that other side too oh yeah I know that for a fact. So I don't think it's better on the other side. Women are women. Men are men. You can be mistreated on both sides. So at least if you're going to be mistreated, <laughs> do something that's going to be impactful to the people. That's my take. So uh, I wish I could tell you go with who you love, but I just don't feel that way. I know how you feel about that. <laughs> so... Anything else? Anything you want to add? No, you just kind of. Oh, I'm passionate about this topic. Lady, I know. Yeah, and I, know. I got experience in dating outside, no mm -hmm. race. You know, and some people are like he's a hypocrite. No, no, well, that's why you were able I, to elaborate I, I, yeah. more, and you've experienced it. I've only just, and I broke it down. Right, I've only yeah. I only know what I choose. Right. I didn't really know the why. Right. Well, I did know the why, but I don't have it to compare. I can't compare it to anything. Right. I just know what I want. Okay. But did you think of marriage in those terms, those ingredients? Not in the beginning. Um, in the first marriage? Mm -hmm. No. No. I, I focused on... Friendship wasn't even important to me in the first marriage. Wow. I think that's something that's very important. What was it? Well, I think if you respect each other. Well, I, this is the well, thing. I'll it, tell you what if you, Hold on, hold on. If you respect <laughs> each other and you have common goals mm -hmm. and you're compatible, you're going to be friends. You're going to be friends. Right. But I got pregnant. Uh, so I tried to make all those things happen after that. It's too late. Too late. 
Okay, that's a whole different topic. So, we're yeah. being transparent, right? Right, don't judge us. That's right. We, we have, don't care. We don't have a story, us. I don't care. <laughs> right. So, hey, reach out to us. Yaya and Stacey at gmail.com. Hit that subscribe button, the notification button, so you get notified anytime we upload videos. Hit the like button, spread the word. Hey, support us. We'll keep giving you this knowledge we have. We don't have all the answers. We're just sharing our experiences and let you know how we feel about it. Maybe it can help someone, maybe not. Just doing our part. Peace. Peace.